Okay, so now we're going to look at using violin in a kind of real world situation. The code for this isn't going to be great. We're not going to be separating views from controllers uh, and anything like that or using a nice templating language, but we can roughly look at how this is going to work. So the first thing I want to do is just build up a form below uh, the PHP code I have at the top of my page. So imagine this is some kind of login form or something. Uh, for this, I'm just going to create a form with an action of a hash, nothing here. Uh, the method here is important because it's how we're going to pull everything in. And within this, I'm just going to create a couple of divs. We'll create a label for an email address, perhaps, that we need to give. So let's say that's email. And let's create an input here with a type of text with email. Obviously, you could take advantage of uh, front-end validation by having a type of email. Uh, but for here, we'll just focus on the back end. And obviously we would need a password. So let's create a label for our password field and enter a password uh, label here. And we'll have an input type of password, name and ID being password. And let's go ahead and create a submit button down here and we'll just say login. So this currently looks like the following. Um, so we can go ahead and hit login that submits this data through to that page. So what we're going to do at the top of the page here, once that form has been submitted, is uh, first of all, check whether some data has been submitted. Then we're going to assign the values of that posted email and password to two variables. We can then pass them into our validator. And then in our sort of fake view down here, which is obviously just markup at the top of uh, the bottom of this page, we can go ahead and output any errors that we find. And we can use the errors message bag that's returned to us to handle this in any way that we want to. And we'll see how that works in just a moment. So first then let's create our if statement just to check if any data has been submitted. So we check if uh, the post super global array is not empty. And then we want to assign a value for email and password. And this is going to be a little bit messy. Uh, if you do have some kind of method, some kind of helper to pull input in, this would be much better. But for now, I'm just going to create a ternary operator just to check our email if that's uh, available. If it is, we're going to assign email the value of dollar underscore post email. Otherwise, we're going to have that as null. So we can potentially pass in null uh, to a uh, to our validator. Um, but in this case, we'll just uh, use null. Obviously, it could be an empty string. So the password then is exactly the same. Again, this is a little bit verbose and messy, but we have this now. So we now have our email and our password once we've submitted. So we can start to validate now. So we say v validate. Remember, we have our array with our two keys here relating to the value and the rules we want to provide here. So for the email, we obviously just pass in email and then we pass in our rules. So we're only going to look at some basic rules here. We're not going to go through too many rules and waste any time, uh, but we basically want the email to be required and an email and the password, which we replace this, we want this to just be required. And obviously you can play around with this if you want any other rules uh, included. So now when I hit login, nothing really happens. So basically because we're not outputting anything, but let's say we wanted to loop through the errors that we have and then just output them. In a moment, we're going to look at uh, outputting specific errors next to the field, which is probably more desirable. So what we do here then is we're going to say if V fails, so if our validation has failed, and obviously you could, um, if you were working with views or maybe a templating language, you can pass the result of V down to your uh, to your to your view, and then you can use this as as you need inside of your view. Um, so if if v fails, what do we want to do? Well, we're going to loop through. So we're going to say for each, and let's just end that for each before we start to do anything else. Um, so for each v errors all. So the all method grabs all errors, regardless of which uh, field they come from. So either email or password, they'll just be output in a list. And then what we could do is something like echo error. And by doing that, we need to obviously say each one of these as error. So um, obviously, let's give that a little break on the end. 
and let's go ahead and see. So if I hit log in, you can see we've got email is required and email must be a valid email address output. And then we also have password is required output as well. So we've got them errors. But what if we want to make this a little bit better? Well, for now, I'm going to get rid of this and just replace this with validation failed. Uh, you obviously wouldn't do that, but it just gives us a little signifier to say that it has failed. Now what I want to do is I want to output uh, the error messages that specifically relate to each of these inputs next to the input. So all I need to do here is say echo v errors first, which will grab the first error for a particular field. So in this case, we want to define email. That's the only thing we'd want to define here. We can go ahead and we can copy this, paste it down to here, and we want to say first password. So now what's going to happen is when we, let's just refresh the page and hit log in, we now see validation failed because we used our fails method. But now we see these errors output next to each field. So this is really, really helpful. Obviously what you could do is you could loop through using the get method. So you could say for each v errors get password, that would give you all of the errors relating to the password. But usually you'd only ever want to output one error next to each of these fields. It's entirely up to you what you want to do here. So that is a kind of real world example of how you might use uh, violin within your project. You can see how easy it is just to output errors down here and how easy it is obviously with this very, very small validate method to pass in the data and the rules to validate the data from your form.